And this time in the storytelling studio, we have a very special guest here for a short talk. We have a dual experience because our our partner here is from two different projects. Mariana, can you tell us first of all a little bit about Retrace? Yeah, Retrace is a project which focuses on how we should or we could use a systemic design in enhancing transition to circular economy. So, so far we have uh, been uh, carrying out seven field visit uh, in the partner region plus two extra regions uh, in the Netherlands and in Scotland and we have seen what partners and others are doing in that and this will be actually the basis for us to get an inspiration to prepare an action plan or actions uh, where we will try to address the um, gaps that we have identified so far within the context of the project. So basically the good practices are, um, uh, are indicating how certain problems could are dealt with elsewhere and we could use that in trying to deal with the same or similar problems right. in, in our country. And how far are you in this process? Have you perhaps already found some good practices or is there a particular example that you would like to share? Well, I think we have found quite an, uh, many good practices. I, I must say I'm quite uh, impressed what uh, what plethora of these good practices is going on. And also I was quite impressed in what we have found in Slovenia. Uh, for example, we have uh, cases like um, Econil, it's uh, um, a, a case where they have uh, managed with a chemical um, recycling to produce a nylon, uh, which is have which is having the same characteristics as from the vir virgin material, and it's totally closed uh, loop, and the materials is um, are obtained from the fish nets which are collected throughout the world and also other uh, uh, post-consumer waste but also some other uh, waste which is product in the uh, fabrication processes. So I think that this is really an interesting case and it was supported uh, that when they were it was developed through, um, through uh, state aid to support uh, foreign direct investments. So it, it also has an instrument which has helped to to uh, make it happen actually. Yeah, so there's sort of both sides. You have the policy side and the regional side, but it's also very concrete and there's it already an existing business in it basically. Yes, 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 definitely it's an existing business and actually this is the world uh, case, I would say. Uh, so also an interesting case is uh, produced a, a fair meter. Mm. It's a smart meter which uh, is produced uh, in Slovenia and uh, the producer has won the uh, tender uh, by the Dutch government uh, who wanted to have a fair trade uh, smart meters, which means that they had to look at the entire uh, supply chain to see where are the uh, conf potentially conflict materials used or how also to uh, uh, close the loops uh, in the production processes. Yeah. That was very interesting and such concrete examples already. Um, how, how does this work? Is this just like your exa experience from one project or how is it working with your other project? I know you're also busy with Simbi. How is, yes. how is that going? Well, it's uh, the Simbi project. The first phase is three years, so it's a bit uh, not so concentrated in the action, but there also we have identified um, uh, good practices. And now we will try uh, in both cases when we will start preparing the um, uh, action plans, we will try to engage the uh, stakeholders. For example, right now in Simbi, we are planning a, a quite big study visit event in November, where we will invite uh, uh, stakeholders from partner regions and from Slovenia and partners to participate, to go and to visit some cases which we have identified as interesting, mm -hmm. so that they can actually see on site how things are being done and then of course this can uh, make a further debate or spur further ideas to see how it can be applied or some elements could be taken out and applied.
applied in the partner mm. regions. And how is that working based on your experience from uh, several projects and different activities in the interregional context? Is it easy to work with stakeholders? Do you perhaps some have some tips that you could share with other projects? Because this is a very common theme yeah. that a lot of projects... Well, I will be very with. honest. I think it's not so easy to work with stakeholders because I think that uh, people are maybe also have some kind of fatigue, you know, mm. too many meetings, too many things going on. So you really have to um, try to, uh, in a way, convince them and really try to work with them, trying to uh, market mm. uh, what you actually can offer through the project. Because I think that uh, to me, the, the both projects are uh, important because uh, they can provide um, a platform for us to create maybe a safe space for the discussion among different stakeholders where sometimes, you know, they are not really on the same uh, page. So it's, it is, uh, in a way, um, not easy task, but... Uh, it gives you a lot of opportunities, but you have to make an effort. Yes. So you have to pick up the phone, you have to call, you have to convince, you have to, uh, you know, uh, also uh, generate uh, for the meetings uh, a relevant content. And then you can make uh, things uh, happen. Yeah, but then it works because like yes. we've seen in the end with all these examples that we've yeah. found in Retrace and so on, you, you really get to the concrete level and concrete uh, examples. No, that, so that definitely works and I think that this is uh, first part. That the second part I think which will be even more difficult is that when we will be preparing the action plans to engage the stakeholders to really uh, see uh, or to make uh, documents uh, or ideas relevant for them. And the third part, which is the most difficult one, is, I would say, how to then try to implement the actions that we will identify. Yes. And, you know, also the, the stakeholders are different along the process. So, and also from that point of view, I think it's quite an interesting uh, journey. <laughs> yes, that's a very good way of describing it. Thank you for joining us and thank you for sharing your experience. I think there's many good lessons for all of us in there, but in the end it really comes down to communication, yes. cooperation within the project, with your stakeholders and with your partners. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.